I got an email yesterday from a friend over in Tennessee, Dick Brickner, good guy, good beekeeper. Uh, in that email, he was sharing his 2022 mite treatment program results. They're very interesting. Dick is a big advocate of organic acids. He likes using oxalic acid extended release in summer to keep his mites somewhat under control before he can get around to using formic acid in the fall. Now, he, uh, he put his formic acid on it in October, which would normally be considered a little bit late, but he thinks using the extended oxalic acid release uh, kind of keeps things under control till he can get around to doing that. The reason he waits till October is the temperatures. His part of Tennessee can be pretty warm and humid in August and September, and uh, that, that formic acid can be problematic under those conditions. Uh, but uh, in October, you seem to have pretty good results, and I'm not here to advocate what he's doing. I should s state right up front that uh, what he's doing has not been okayed yet. It's not actually legal. A lot of beekeepers are playing around with this, though, so I thought that it would be good to share this type of information. I should also add that I have another friend in Tennessee that did, uh, that did uh, formic acid in October during a heat wave, and had very bad results. He really cooked some colonies, so you gotta be careful with that stuff. Anyway, I'm just sharing Dick's results. They're interesting, and uh, he gave me permission to do it. So uh, if, if nothing else, just for educational purposes, and you know, the more information we have as beekeepers, the better off we are, the, the better job we can do of coming up with our own ideas of what will work for us. So anyway, this is just Dick, Dick's email to me, and I think it's quite interesting.